guys. I'm going to go over some basics here of this DXO program. Now, I'm no pro in DXO. Let me shut off the uh, Facebook here. All right, I'm no pro at this DXO software, but I mean, <laughs> quick, very quick. You can make your own presets, apply a preset there, adjust anything in your image you want. It has excellent, excellent, excellent noise reduction for RAW. Um, can export it to the disk. You can export to Lightroom, do your edits, final edits in Lightroom, whatever you want. So on screen, I have some basic Sony A6000 images that we took. They're ARW files, RAW files. Very simple. Right click, open in DXL, Optics Pro 11. And here we go. Let me show you how quick this program can work. All right, so there are images in our preview mode. Just like Lightroom, you have a preview and develop. Well, here you have organize and customize. This is the basic out-of-camera image. Nothing has been modified. So you click down here, go through your images, and as you see, it will stumble for a second over here until it loads them. Okay. So DXO pretty much does, as you can see, an auto-correction. You can see the difference. Okay, this is the original image. This is DXO. It applies a standard correction to all images. Okay, you can see the difference here. See how this is nice and contrasty, and you can see the deals between. I mean, honestly, for a lot of people, that's all you really have to do in all reality. I need to go to your Customize tab, and you can export. I mean, look at this image on the left compared to just clicking it on the right. I didn't do anything. I mean, it, it, it brightened the skies. It cleared up the tone of the water. It um, adjusted the color of the leaves here. I mean, like I said, for a lot of people, this is all you really <laughs> need to do. So you go over your Customize tab, and this is where things get interesting. Um, everything you can do in Lightroom is up here. Everything you can do in Lightroom is here. All your sliders, your contrast, color extension, everything here. Smart lighting, raw, white balance. Like everything is here that you have in Lightroom. You have your white balance. Down here is where they have the, uh, where do we got the high, right here. Noise reduction raw, prime. Okay. Here's your presets up here. Bunch of presets to pick from. These are the two I made here. Okay. You got nat the standard, natural colors, black and white, no correction. You can go down through everything here bunch of free presets. I don't use many of them. Smartphone presets, uh, film pack, you have HDRs, okay, you have scenes, auto, portrait, landscape, night, spot, I mean sport, I mean you have everything you need here for presets. Now say I wanted to take and apply a preset to all these images in one shot. So we're going to take hold highlight here, hold shift, Go to the next one. That's going to highlight, hold shift, go to the last one. That's going to highlight them all. Same thing you do in Lightroom. Go over here and click on a pri preset. Eh, let's click this one. Boom. As you see, they're spinning there. That preset has been applied to all the images. Okay. It applied the same preset to everything. Okay. Now I'm going to show you, as you can see right here, there's a little spot. You got a dust removal tool. <whistles> Ta-do! Spot is gone. Okay. So it's a very easy program to use. You got your crop here. Okay. Crop the image. You have a horizon tool here. So you get all this image is a little bit to the right, just a tiny bit. Grab the horizon tool here. <whistles> ba -doom, ba -doom, you know. Spin your image around wherever you need it. Okay. It has an auto horizon tool. It'll find the horizon automatically. There's a lot to this program, and it's very quick. Auto horizon, done, that quick. Take our crop, let's bring this up, get this building out of the corner out of the way. Boom, there we are. Now that since we cropped it, we threw our horizon off a little bit. We'll just go down here, unclick the auto, and we'll use our little slider. And there it is. Recrop this image. 
take the black areas out boom done so that's pretty much your DxO optics pro um, how quick it can work so now we're done with all these images uh, let's just say we'll play a preset here put a preset on here so we're done with all the images click one highlight these and here you have export to Lightroom, export to disk, export to application, export to Facebook, export to Flickr, or export to Lightroom. So we're just going to go export to disk for now. Pick your folder you want. Okay. I'm going to put them in a 111 folder. I'm going to give them a name called 66666. Okay. You can set your original resolution. You could allow image resampling. So let's say we want the largest size, 2,000 pixels. Okay. And you can have an sRGB, Adobe RGB, original, custom, however you want. Okay. You can remove the EXIF data so they don't know what camera or whatever was taken. So we're going to resize into 2,000 pixels. Hit export. Okay, and within a couple seconds, you're going to have exported images on your folder here. And there they are. They are already done. Images are done. Very simple. It's nice and clean, brightened up, good to go. So that's DxO Optic Pro 11 for you. And... Um, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's a pretty fast program. It works pretty good. Um, it also saves a DOP file, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't screw up your actual RAW files. You can delete these when you're done, the DOP files, but uh, it leaves your RAWs, of course, intact because you're exporting them. So you can always come back later in the future and uh, and use them. Everything you're doing here, you could undo. But like I said, give it a try. It's 30-day trial. There's so much you can do in here. Quicker than Lightroom to me. Runs better than Lightroom on my system. A lot of stuff that's automatic, like the smart lighting, the clear view, is just incredible. Like, let's take this image here. Let's take the clear view off. And you can see, look at that image, how it went faded. and Okay, clear view. Bang. Look at the difference just in one click, which we just did. You can also adjust the intensity of that and make it uh, contrast, micro contrast, fine contrast, all can be done. Vignetting can be done. Okay. Turn your vignetting on and off. Uh, white balance in RAW, which is good. Color rendering. Okay. Also, what I didn't show you is the modules up here. When you first load into here, it's going to have a little camera and like a lens icon down here on all the images. These modules go everything from Apple iPhone down to Nikon, down to Sony. I mean, you can see this is all the modules for all the cameras I have. The D80, the D90, D800E, the A6000, 7500. These are all the cameras I've shot over the years that these optics were brought in from these pictures. It'll recognize this picture was taken with a 7500 or this picture was taken with a Sony A6000 and it will let you download the modules okay to color correct and straighten and correct out your lenses and stuff like that. So if you get a new lens for your Sony so you got a 70 to 28 70 to 200 28 lens for your Sony you went out and took some pictures when you bring those pictures back into DxO, it's going to recognize that there's a new lens in there, and it will ask you to download the module, and it will apply the pin, you know, pin cushion correction, barrel distortion correction, uh, CA correction for the lens, whatever it, whatever it, it sees, and it will do that pretty much automatically before you even get into the edit mode. So, it's all I could say. It's it's a it's a good program. There's a lot better programs out there. There's a lot worse programs out there. We all get used to doing things our own way. Um, and like I said, you make all these corrections going down here and tweaking your images, you can then save that as your own preset. And when you get, you know, you go to your preset, you'll have it, it'll be listed under user presets. Um, 
If I have an image that's really blown out, I will use this one called dark, and it brings the images back down. If I have an exposure, a bad day with exposures, or a lot of the Nikon bodies overexpose a little bit. The old D80s, D90s used to overexpose a little bit. So this one here, I would darken up the image a little bit. Um, you have neutral colors here. You have no correction all. You have black and white. So black and white is pretty good. Um, then again, a black and white is never going to be a true black and white compared to actually taking an image with a sensor that has the RGB bare layer removed. It's going to have just so much more detail and, and color and, and tonality. It's going to be incredible. But anyway, that's just a quick overview of DxO Optics 11. Everything has been, uh, been done now. All the images are pumped out. And, um, you know, there's all the 666 images right there. They're finally exported and they're good to go. So, hope that was helpful on this program. Uh, give it a try. 30 day trial. You can't go wrong. After 30 days, you don't like it, just uninstall it and, uh, and move along.